right, guys. Welcome to episode 65 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly low key. Got John here with me. Got Lady Snoozing. Yo, yo. Remy in the back fucking cooling. Fuck we back up. with another one. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget to thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Link is in the description for merch. If you're trying to support, go get you some Dope Talk merch, man. We got it. And um, yeah, man, we overall, got it. We got it. overall, guys, we want to let y'all know that we love you. We appreciate you. You know, for those of you that are part of the Dope Talk family, man, we, you know, we, we know people are going through a rough patch. Some of y'all are going through a rough patch this year. You know, it's the end of the year. Now everybody got the means, you know what I mean, to, to make shit do what it do sometimes. And, you know, we want to let y'all know that we, we see y'all. We, we, we know that you guys, you know, are trying and, um, and we're with you guys, you know, we're with you guys, um, through everything, bro, through the struggle and back. So. Love, nothing but love to the Dope Talk family, man. But yeah, bro, we're back with another one. Yeah, How you bro. feeling today, bro? You feeling, man, I'm feeling good. I don't know about you. I'm chilling, bro. We're I got chilling. We, we energized today, bro. Yo, man, we had a pretty good weekend. You know what I mean? We wanted to celebrate this weekend. Had to, bro. Had uh, to. You know, we, we, we got some personal goals that we accomplished. And, Hell uh, yeah. And there's always a, you know, it's always fucking fun to just accomplish your fucking goals yeah it's man. always like, a good thing to be it, real. yeah and it's you know it it feels better when you're partying for a reason yeah it's not like, just to party yeah like when you're actually celebrating something you're like yo we accomplished this like let's celebrate for it that that's a different night out than if you're just like having a night out you know yeah, yeah it's like motherfuckers be celebrating for no reason it's like bro why are you out here popping 12 bottles bro you you still you ain't accomplished a goddamn thing you're broke at your mama house <laughs> nah but, but you, you know what i'm saying nah, like, but we went out to you know we we went out to a couple of restaurants and, and we were chilling. Uh, we actually went out to a restaurant we were not really familiar with. Yeah, bro, it was uh, a different vibe, man. It, it, it's a completely different culture. I don't even remember the name of the restaurant. That's how unmemorable it was. But yeah, it, it, I think it was something full bowl, something about a bowl. Because like, guys, you know, it's one of those restaurants where like you fucking have to cook your own food and shit. And like, to be honest with you, like I don't really like that type of shit, yeah. man. Like we pay for the service to be for the food to be cooked. Fact. Honestly, I thought it was going to be one of those restaurants where we just yeah, order and that's too. it. Me too. And I was hungry as a And I was waiting for the fucking robot that they was talking about. Supposedly yeah. it was like no human interaction. I'm like, where the fuck is a robot? There's a nigga it, coming up to yeah, me. Yeah, I heard I that. Sit. Yeah, they were hyping that shit up. So that shit was ass. I, I, they should have just told us there was no robot. We should have just went to fucking Denny's. Or yeah, there was a there was an outback like across the street. Bro, we should have went, went there. Yeah, because bro, they br they brought us there were stoves on the fucking tables and we were put our, they put a bowl in it. And you got to put vegetables and, bro, and like you gotta, shit coming down the aisle. Like there's on this like little, a conveyor belt yeah. coming around the tables. And you pick off of the conveyor belt what you want to put into your, into your uh, pot. Because they bring you like a pot of stew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they bring you a pot of stew and then you put it on the on the stove top. You let it boil. You throw your noodles. You throw your meat. Whatever is in there. Yep. But it was just like, number one. I don't want to cook my own shit. If yeah, I wanted to cook my that? own shit, bro, I would have stayed at home and cooked my own shit. Facts. Like, what the fuck is... <laughs> like, I got fucking ramen over here wrapped up in a bowl, and then on top of it, like, they bro. weigh it by the fucking pound of the bowl, so yeah, it's like so $36 it's like per, like, a plate of ramen and Facts. some meatballs. That yeah, that's like a week of... Bro, nah, now, it, the, it, the, it, wasn't, it wasn't a good vibe. I mean, it was a good experience, but the food to me wasn't all that great. But honestly, that just might be a difference in culture, bro. I think you know, we like, didn't. I think we didn't do it right. We might have fucked that I shit up. I think we didn't do it right because yeah, like I, I know, didn't put no I flavoring. Know, no, I know nothing. I bowled my shit so hard, bro. Nah, that's just trash, bro. Like the meatballs tasted like they got chopped off from last night from goat. I don't know somebody's goat around the corner and they <laughs> chopped it up and then I had an eyeball in there. I brought it up. It was like oh, no, yeah, I don't know if it was the bad. joint of the the meat. Nah, that was, it was on like there. a neck bone. It was like a neck bone from the pork or some shit. I don't know, bro, but I know That's I didn't, a trash I restaurant. didn't like that. Yeah, I didn't I didn't like it, bro. You know what I'm saying? If y'all ever been to a restaurant where you got to cook your own food and shit like that, man, go down in the comments and let us know if you vibed with it, nah, if you didn't. I know I didn't really vibe with it, nah, man. Like, I was, bro, I was nah. still hungry. I'm not even going to, like, I got full quick. It's weird. Bro. I got full really quick. And then, like, 30 minutes after we left, bro, I was hungry again. I was like, yo, they got my ass. It's, it's that fucking MSG that they put in there. Facts. And it's like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, yo, like, we're half of the time we're sitting there talking, waiting for the food to be fucking bro, cooked. And, and it's like, yo, if we go to a restaurant. You're just sitting there waiting for the pot to boil. And then you fucking eat your first bowl of ramen. And you're like, you know what? That shit actually was all right. And then you got to sit here and wait 20 minutes for the conveyor belt to bring back some more noodles. 
Nah, that's Do you trash. remember that shit? Like, we what sat if, there for like literally like ten minutes waiting for some noodles to come back around. Yeah, and it's like, oh, it's like sitting at the airport waiting for your baggage to come by. It's like, Fast. yo, that shit's so fucking <laughs> trash, you know? And then you miss your baggage or you miss the noodles. What do you gotta do? Like no, run up no, and say, yo, fuck you, no, give me the noodles. Run across the motherfucking restaurant, fight a nigga for the noodles. Yeah, that's just <laughs> that's just so trash, yo. Like airports, so airports and fucking trash ass restaurants, like yeah, especially trash comparable. restaurants, yeah. man. Like, I don't know, it just wasn't the vibe for me. Like for I'd rather have gone to like Anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, and I, no, like, let's not even talk about what I felt like last night, bro. Like, I took bro. a fucking shower praying to God, letting the water hit me. I, I dimmed the lights. I told you that, too, bro. I was like, God, what did you I do? You know what it was that did it to you? That spice sauce. Yo, that spicy sauce you put on there. Oh, I told you. I was like, yo, I'm not putting that shit on there. That shit was so good, bro. Though. That shit was red as the devil's fucking toe, bro. Yo, that it, shit was fucked. Yo, it was sriracha. Yo, it was so hot that the side of my corner of my lips were fucking burning bro, this red. this nigga literally third degree burnt his asshole. No. After I told him, I was like, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, I was, yeah, that shit hurt, bro. So, yeah, guys, don't ever go to a trash restaurant. And on top of it, if you don't like spicy food, don't fucking eat it. Yeah, I don't, I yeah, don't do facts. That. Spicy food, not for me. You know, that, that type of restaurant where you, like, I like gotta it. pay mad money to cook your own food, not for me. You know, if I step out, bro, and I'm paying $100 for a fucking plate, bro, you know, a couple plates, I, I want to be served. Yeah, like, like I want to be serviced. Like, and on top of it, what am I paying sixty seven dollars for? Facts. I paid sixty seven dollars for two people. Like, so you're telling me it's like fucking thirty two dollars, thirty bucks a plate? Yeah, fair. for all that. Yeah, like, bro, and crazy. then on top of it, they gave us an ice cream that was the size that was made bro, for a midget. It was made for a midget. No bro, offense. Have you ever seen the Robitussin fucking little cups? You know, little yeah, cups for, for the, yeah, you, the medicine cups. The medicine cups. Yeah, the That's Pepto. literally what the fuck they brought us the ice cream, and I was like. <laughs> I was like, yo, they got her ass, bro. What the fuck? Yo, and they still charge us two bucks for that shit. Fuck yo, out of here. Yo, facts. Like, oh, on the house. Nah, you look at the ticket. Trash. This is like two ninety nine. Nah, never again, guys. Yeah, no, no, no. This was in Orlando, me. by the way. But, bro, I'm going to tell you what, man. Sometimes, bro, on a night out like that, bro, you know what I mean? You just want to have something guaranteed. Yeah, a lot you of know? guaranteed shit. You want to have some guaranteed fun. You know what I mean? Sometimes, let's just keep it real, guys. Fuck the PG shit. Sometimes you just want some guaranteed pussy. As a guy. Yeah. When you step out, some nights, you just want to make sure that at the end of the night, you're going to be taken care of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So sometimes, you might have to finesse, finagle. I ain't going to lie to you. And bring bro. two biddies, two biddies to the same fucking party. You know what I'm saying? That, that, but, but. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. See, this is where I fucked up, guys. Yo. <laughs> I fucked up, yo. But this was like a story. This is a while back, man. We talk about yeah, this story yeah, all the facts. time, bro. Like this ain't nothing. like all the stories I'd be telling you guys. Like most of the crazy shit that be happening bro, is when I was younger. Ago. So this ain't nothing recent. But yo, I there was one party that we went to, and you know I wasn't too sure who to pick, and I ended up like slipping up and like saying, yo, like my mommy, mommy, yo, I got, I got two, I got a yo, vente, <laughs> I, yo, vamos, let's go, vamos, vamos, yo, let Fuma me, de. yo, but listen. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the fucking party and shit. I'm chilling. Bro, I didn't know. I thought one of them was going to flake on my ass. So I invited two. I wanted a bitty. Next thing you know, they both end up coming. What do mm. I do in a situation like this, guys? When you invite a two females, vice versa, it could be it could be for the women too. Imagine you invite two men. You know yeah, what I mean? You, that you, you just you invite two people to one occasion and neither one of them know that the other person's coming for you too. Yeah, so what do you do? In that situation, how bro, do you balance that? Nah, you you got a hey, wingman. I need you. Yeah, bro. I need you to hold it down until the end of the night to see what the play is. Yeah, and facts. then we execute. Nah, bro, because I we even... call an audible if we need to. You know what I'm fuck, saying? Fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Yo, I brought fucking yo. Nah, fuck that, bro. I got my homie in the in the cut. I say, yo, bro, Miguel, I need you to fucking hold this down for me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna introduce you to somebody, and you know, what I mean, hold it down. Nice little bitty, you know, know what I mean? Saying? But you know, if one girl's just trying to like, you're not too sure. That's that's why you got to bring the other one that you know that's gonna, yeah, you know. But hopefully yeah. she plays her part. You know what I mean? And this is toxic. This, yeah, shit, this ain't no. Some to- this is some shit, single shit. But we, it's single life shit. Sometimes, yeah, it could be both, but usually yeah. single life yeah. shit. And yeah, it's. I mean, I wouldn't say it's toxic. It's just, it's more like. Some some people are with the shits more than others. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are like that. Like they know what the move is. They know what's up. Yeah. Some girls are like that, bro. They know the motive. Yeah. They it's know like, the motive. They, they know why they're there. You know. Yeah. Ultimately, at the end of the night, but 
Yeah, that's one of those situations, man, where it's like, fuck, like, that's a, that that gives me anxiety just thinking about it, bro. Yeah, because like, man, you tell the whole crew, everybody knows what the fuck yeah, is going everybody on. In everybody the building knows that you got two girls there. They got to keep them. Like that's just it's and a lot, man. Everybody knows what time it is, so they want to see how you gonna play this out. Facts. You, they want it's entertainment. <laughs> they gonna be like, yo, if I seen you do that, I'll be like, I want to see how Hector plays this out. Nah, I'll be like, yo, that was shit, smooth. Bro, that was smooth. Bro, bro, honestly, bro, you're a piece that was of smooth. shit, but you're a smooth one. <laughs> I'll be like, yo, that was smooth, man. That was nah, real facts. smooth, but. Uh, but yeah, man, something that's fucking hilarious, bro, is when that one girl asked you when you uh when you had your Britney moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this was actually really recent. So this story was like not a, like maybe like a couple of fucking <laughs> conversations ago, bro. Like, yo, we were talking on the phone, like, and she's like, yo, like, yo. So when did you do, you know decide to have your your Britney moment? I was like, what you mean? Britney and I had to think about it. I said Britney shaved her head. I was like, "Oh shit, try oh my, my God. bro. Look at this shit. This bitch, try my. Yo, hey, just put put your head down. Hey, quick. look, that's Britney in 2007. Yo, Britney got <laughs> Britney. I feel you, dog. Now, nah, but when I bro, when she told me that shit, I was like, God damn, Yo. got my ass. Because I bro, I'm she bold. She called guys. you a dumb hoe. No, 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 no. That's I'm bold. I'm bold. I've seen. I've heard the jokes. I've heard the bald jokes. <laughs> I've heard the yo damn <laughs> yo Brittany yo Morgan. how far how far does your hairline go back yo how far do you wash your face like nah, I've seen that, I've bro, seen that shit's fucking yo weird. I've seen it all but for somebody <laughs> to come up and say yo when did you decide to have your Britney moment so casual I was like what the right, fuck number one she shit it on yo you. she and number, tried my ass. Tried ass. and yes. number two bro. I mean, it's a legitimate question. It is, though, because she <laughs> legitimately went nuts. I didn't go nuts, but I shaved my fucking head, all right? Nah, hey, bro, yeah. I'm not going to lie, bro. Your shit shaved itself because that shit was gone. By the age of fucking 21, his shit was bro, I started, ran away. It's, bro, I started mm-hmm. losing hair at a young age, but you know what? I don't know. Like, <laughs> yo, people forgot how I look like with hair. So, like. Yo, if, don't ever grow your hair out ever again. You can't. You just, you, bro, you look so fucking weird. Yeah, I look weird as fuck. So, I just, I don't know. I just like looking bald, man. I feel like it's just a good look for it's me. It's a so. clean cut, man. Yeah. Like, honestly, people are self-conscious about it. But, like, if I, if my hairline was gone, bro, what the fuck? You got, you really got no option. It's like. Yeah, I mean, you do. You but. look, cl- I mean, you do, but, like, you look cleaner, bro. That's what got, guys are just, guys are insecure just like girls are about certain shit. So, yeah. it's like, bro, like, your hairline is gone bro it's okay bro like yeah a bald guy that rocks it confidently bro you're you're doing damage with these, with these nah, old, nah, like, for real because i don't bro i wear hats like once in a blue like i started wearing hats like maybe like when i started losing hair but when i went bald and i noticed like man i look good i started getting compliments i was like yo th- this is when i could pull a 35 year old and i could pull a 20 year old at the same time facts because it's, I, clean it's, cut, it's crazy it's you know? clean cut and you some of these women fresh. some of these women they got some Daddy issues, you know what I mean? And sometimes, you know, <laughs> this yeah, piece yeah, of I'm shit. I'm a piece of shit. Listen, they got yo, daddy issues, so you know, I'll nah, fucking take my hat off nah. and let them look at the baldy right quick. Yeah, and they it reminds me of their daddy, you know what I mean? So they call me daddy. daddy so, Grimm's not dad. real shit, though. You know, a lot of people, when they grow up, they're attracted to what they were raised by. Oh, no, of course. Most people subconsciously look for their parents in a park. Exactly. Whether, uh, not physically, but like, they'll be like, yo, I want a girl to, you know, cook like my mom and, 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 Clean yeah. like my mom and hold my hold me down like she held my dad down like shit like that. Yeah. That's what you look for. But that's why it's important as a parent to set the fucking example. I'd be yeah. a fucking smut. Yeah, facts. <laughs> for real. Because if you're a smut, bro, by the age of sixteen, if that's all your kids saw, guess what they're gonna be. Yo, do you think do you think people like as a <laughs> as a couple? This is a question I always wanted to ask. Like, <laughs> yo, like when you first have a baby and shit, like you know, do you? Do you put your baby like in the other room when you have sex, or do you just like? Oh my god! Yeah, like I've known some people where it's like, yo, like I've been in a situation where I was gonna have intercourse with somebody, and her baby was like right around the corner, but like it was like sleeping. And I was just like, nah, I don't feel, I don't know how I feel about this. But nah, number one, that's messy. That, As a female, bro, if you have a newborn, yeah, and you already have other guys around your fucking kid, yeah. and you're like willing to fuck around your kid like that's crazy yeah that's wild to me like clapping cheeks around the corner of the nah, newborn you gotta be respectful man you gotta be respectful to your kid and be respectful to your your you know the person you had a fucking kid with <laughs> yeah because ultimately like yeah if you want to be a smut or whatever bro, go do that but it's like don't involve my kid yeah exactly like, keep my kid the fuck away from that clapping cheeks around here and say right. what the fuck is going yeah, on yeah now that's just bad etiquette bro like yeah. honestly I, i've messed with some you know some girls that have kids and 
like they won't do shit unless their kids are out of the house like for the night you know like they got a babysitter or whatever like they'll set shit up to be able to do certain shit but they're not just out here fucking niggas with their kids next door room next door like oh you can walk in here yeah exactly. you know what i'm saying like you can hear this shit like there's certain things you're that, respectful bro your yeah. kid don't want your kid don't need to know what the fuck you do as an adult yeah exactly and like when i don't know we were talking about this earlier man we were talking about how like women when they're pregnant they just want to leave yeah like that's like i don't know oh, man i've seen fuck, it i've man. seen it and, and and guys please don't fucking murder us because we're weed advocates as you guys know like we don't smoke as much anymore on the show like we probably will soon you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. but it's like the point is we we support marijuana and marijuana usage recreational or medical you know we support it but if you're pregnant you're fuck man it's like that that's one of those lines where it's like it it fuck i don't know I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm what, not like, a doctor, if, but... If, if you're... Yeah, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what the side effects are, but... All right, all right. Let me ask you this, then. As, you know, if you got a girl pregnant and you walked into a room and caught her smoking, what would you rather catch her smoking if she's pregnant? Weed or a cigarette? I'd rather, I'd rather her smoke weed because, you know, it's not, it's not cancerous or anything like that. But I've seen women smoke blunts yeah with weed and that, right. that's not something i yeah, approve nah, of blunt. like if you're smoking like, out of a glass then yeah i definitely yeah recommend. bro that's like, cool that's cool because it's clean facts. i i agree with that too it's like it's one of those things where i feel like it's okay as long as you're not you're not overdoing it and you're not you're you leave tobacco products out of it you know if you hit a bowl for your appetite because bro being pregnant we're guys. We're never gonna know what it really feels like. But yeah. from what I've been told, nigga, that shit sucks. Yeah, facts. like you're nauseous. You can't really eat sometimes, and then other times, like it, it's just fucked up. So it's like yeah. I get it, but at the same time, like man, like maybe a take bowl. care, take yeah. care of your kid, man. Facts. Like don't don't sabotage them before they even come in the world. Like they haven't even had a chance yet. Yeah, you exactly. know, and it's like nah. Honestly, though, for my first child, like I, I've never have. I don't have kids. Yeah, guys. we, we don't have kids, guys. Yeah, so, so we don't know how it is, but like. To be honest, like for my first experience, I wanted to go perfect, and I don't want, I don't want anything off to mess it up. So like, anything, you know, just I'm not saying because I've I met I met a lot of people that have kids, and you know, she smoked throughout the whole pregnancy, and the kid ended up being fine. But it's like to be honest, like I want it to be right. You know what I mean? Like, you want to just take as all the precaution you can to yeah, make sure it goes as good as yeah, it can. exactly. I want to try my best it, as a parent because as a parent, when you're a mama, mama fucking bear and a fucking and a, and a fucking papa bear, like you y'all are. Yeah, Yo, you're like, responsible for a lot, man. Like, you got to be your best. Like, the fact. best of the best. Bro, the example you set is the example that they'll follow. And, then and you, that's and, a fact. And then other people, the way, like, I don't care what anybody else thinks, you know what I mean? But to bring around somebody smoking blunts, like, yo, we coming, with, we chilling, and there's an event, and my wife is pregnant, and she wants to hit the blunt, like, that ain't going to fly with me. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, nah. That ain't going to fly with me, like, especially in public. Like, you want to hit the bowl before bed, you know, maybe once, and, you know, get, get some sleep, or something or you're throwing up like you said then yeah that's you know that's cool i, I definitely i'm not gonna you know be upset about that but if right. you're smoking cigarettes and all that i can't, I can't nah, no nah, that. that's too that. much it's i too mean much. ultimately though bro i feel like par- marijuana and parenting go hand in hand like i like people want to demonize parents that smoke weed and take care of their children it's like yeah. like bro like it helps it helps man it helps you know let a lot of shit a lot, a lot of shit roll off your back because kids Kids could get annoying, bro. Like, let's yeah. just keep it real. Kids could get fucking annoying. Yep. They're asking you a hundred questions back to back to back to back to back. Sometimes it's the same question. Yep. Back to back to back to back. And it's like, as a parent, you know, it's it's okay for you to be able to step outside for five minutes, hit the bowl a couple times, get your thoughts right, get your mind right, and step back into the situation with the right attitude and the right vibes. Because sometimes parents overreact for smaller shit and it's because you're overwhelmed, bro. You need that break. Yeah. You need that mental break, bro. Yep. And it might not be marijuana. It might just be so some people. It might be a fucking brew. Just, or it might be just yoga. Yoga, yeah. Or, or something. You know, whatever it is. Hopping on a treadmill. Yep. But it's like you got to have something to be able to get away for a second. You know? Because that shit, that shit is crazy. But yeah, guys, if you agree with what the fuck we're saying, you know what I'm saying, go down in the comments and let us know. Do you think that pregnant women should be smoking marijuana? Do you think they should be smoking at all? You know what I'm saying? Or do you think that it's just, it's whatever, like it doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah. But um, but yeah, man, fucking, 
I've been seeing a lot of shit lately, bro. People are freaking out, man. I've had a couple people send me the same shit. There's a link going around about how, like, Instagram, you know, changes your privacy and, you know, like, whatever the fuck they changed. Yeah. And people are so fucking blown by it, but it's like... It's like, bro, bro it's, it's been like that for a long It's been like time. that since the yeah. first time you fucking went into Instagram and agreed. You, I'm sure you didn't read it. I'm sure you didn't. Yeah. I'm sure you just clicked accept because you wanted to hop straight onto social media. Yep. But you didn't read the terms and conditions. So, 10 years ago when fucking people first started on Instagram, bro, they're they're taking data. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they're just, they're keeping track of data. They're keeping track of what you look at, how long you look at it for, what you buy, what you pass up. They're looking at all of that they're shit. looking at everything. Just to, you know, they say it's to make, you know, the the consumer experience better you know the way, but the way i look you know, at that's it that's where the sketchy part comes in but this yeah. shit's been going on guys yeah. re- just know this there's no such thing as privacy when it comes to technology like what do no you, such thing like what do you what do you expect like yo like the technology is always going to get better every day but bro they've been trying to keep track of us since the day of fucking time yeah like it's like they want to know everything about us you know what i mean and they want they want to pick our brains. They want to see what what interests us. They want mm-hmm. to see everything, and that goes for like, just the, they're just nosy. You know, they're always gonna see what the fuck we're doing, man. Like, what do you expect? They're just gonna let us do whatever the fuck we want, right? And, and, like, and, and not mean, surveillance us. Ultimately, like, bro, there there has to be some type of surveillance too, yeah. though, because like it sounds fucked up. You know, everybody, you know, everybody's freaking out, and rightfully so. You know, you're like, damn, they could share my pictures, they could do that, they could look at my locations, they could do all this, and it's like, yeah, they can, but. At the same time, like, yeah, it, it might look like inconvenient, but it might also save fucking lives. Who knows? Yep. What if there's a group of fucking people ready to blow some shit the fuck up in the middle of the woods somewhere and they get caught because of that? You, you know, like, it, it it goes hand in hand. Yeah. But ultimately, I feel like what's scaring people is, like, what are you doing yeah. with my information? Yeah. Like, where are my pictures going? Who, is, who has it? Like, you know, like, that's what freaks people out. But guys, don't it ain't nothing new. Yeah, they've bro. been fucking watching. They can take a picture and screenshot it and say they've it's you. Been watching. Yeah, like, <laughs> like they've been watching, bro. Don't don't trip about that shit because guess what, nigga? It's been like it's, that. It's been like that for years. Yeah. As soon as you sign into MySpace, they they've been watching you. Bro, they had like, technology. They had cameras and all this shit before we even knew about it. Fact. I'm telling you, they've been watching bro, what the fuck we've been doing since the dawn of honestly, time, bro. Honestly, bro, there's people <laughs> that talk about it. There's documentaries out there. It's documented where you know people. Talk like people in the military from back in the day talk about how they've they've been had touchscreen technology like in the like mid eighties late eighties early nineties they already had touchscreen shit yeah in the military so they're ahead like they've been ahead we didn't get touchscreen phones till the fucking mid two thousand no whatever two thousand or something yeah but it's like bro they, they're ahead bro so don't don't sleep don't ever act like the the government knows exactly what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, come on, man. Like, y'all y'all see the face recognition? Like, bro, they had that yeah. shit for a long time, bro. They had that shit for a long time, And now, bro, bro with, this, with this pandemic shit going on, bro, they're getting even better at being able to recognize people with masks on. Yeah. Now they don't need your full face. You know, they could get you. They could see who it is just by your eyes and your front. Like, and, and, yeah, just your facial your, features your, from the front. Your, yeah, yeah, like, just yeah. your eyes. Your, yeah. your features from your eyes. They yeah. could tell who it is. So, it, hey, man, it is what it is, bro. Yeah, Man, I, I wanted to talk. I'm hungry as fuck, guys, by the way, because like always, we fucking, y'all don't see the process behind this, but we've been setting up for a little bit. I'm fucking starving. Hungry. And something I was thinking about, I was like, yo, you know what, dog? Diets are complete fucking bullshit. Yeah. Diets are complete bullshit, bro. Yeah, like, they are. Like, they you are. can literally eat whatever the fuck you want to eat as long as it's in moderation. If you don't exceed your calorie intake for the day. You could eat what you want to eat. Yeah, you really could. But the problem is people go buy an extra large pizza, eat the whole fucking thing. Then two hours later, they're eating a whole bag of chips. Then two hours later, they're eating fucking Taco Bell again. And it's like, bro, you're literally consuming calories for like three people. Portion control, people. Yeah, you guys hear that shit? Control. Portion control. I mean, fuck. Like, yo, you don't need to eat a whole goddamn extra large pizza. Just like you said. Like, what Facts, the fuck? Like, like yo, it. like. Like, fucking portion your shit out, right? And you'll be able to eat you'll whatever be, you yeah. want. You'll be able to eat whatever you want. There's a bodybuilder that fucking proved it. You know, like, he was eating everything. Junk food, chips. He was eating everything, bro, but just in moderation. He would count the calories, you know, and then he wouldn't exceed that. And that's it. Yeah. And he, like, he was still cut. He was still shredded. And he was like, yo, look, like, I'm living proof. Like, 
you could eat what you want as long as it's in moderation. Yeah. So and that's everything in life. Yeah, because this it. is the time of year where people start bitching about that. Oh, I'm gonna have to break the diet. It's like yeah, first it's like, of all, you broke the diet every fucking week before this too. Let's yeah. cut the bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like you ate a cheesecake act, at yeah, fucking fact. Cheesecake Factory not too long ago. Fact, like, shut don't up. Act like it's because of Christmas now that you're fucking about to cheat on your yeah, diet. You fucking you're, liar. You're a cheater. You're a fucking liar you're too. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> cheating, lying, cheating, lying. <laughs> But yeah, bro. No, God like, damn. Damn. Fuck. Yo, Remy just farted straight Holy in his mouth. Holy shit. Talking about diets. What the yo, fuck you ate, fuck, you piece yo, of shit? Yo, particles of Remy's asshole is in his mouth. His right asshole's now. literally sh- towards my fucking face. <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> the way the fan's blowing. Oh, like, all right, shit. whatever. But, not yeah. for real, but now that you say that, bro. Going back to it, shit happens for a reason. Shit you happen- just got <laughs> farted on for a reason. Yo, bitch. shit happens for a reason. Nah, but for real, all jokes aside, things happen for a reason, guys. We were supposed to go out last night, you know what I'm saying, and we had this little night set up, you know, we were supposed to go downtown, we had an Airbnb, it was a nice penthouse, you know, three rooms, two balconies, Yo, we were gonna it, was a, it, it was gonna be a vibe, and last minute, out of nowhere, you know, the Airbnb owner hits up John, and they're like, yo, you know, uh, sorry, but, you know, plumbing. plumbing issues came up, and, you know, we're not gonna be able to have you guys stay here tonight. And, you know, for a second, it kind of dampened the mood because we're like, damn, bro, you know, we've been planning this for weeks now. Like, yeah. we've been looking forward to this. But ultimately, bro, we came to the conclusion that everything fucking happens for a reason. And we sat there like adults and we thought about the situation. And we're like, you know what, bro? It just wasn't meant for us to be there that night. Yep. And it wasn't meant for us to go to where we were supposed to go to downtown that night. Yep. Because we went, we still went, you know, we had a night out, but yeah. we didn't go to the same places we were supposed to go. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like that's why it happened. Like, yeah, that, like, yeah. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I'm not, you know, like, I don't consider myself a Christian or all this shit, but I do believe in God. I believe in a higher power. And that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yo, God moved us around to protect us from something. From something. Whatever the fuck it was a car accident, a fight. Facts, anything you anything. know and, you don't and, know what it could have been yeah so but so guys if you're ever in a predicament where shit's just not going your way and you have something planned and the plans just fall through and you're feeling bad like yeah you know it sucks but ultimately think about the bigger picture man because you could be get it, that could be your blessing in disguise you know what i'm saying yeah it might seem like like something that'll fuck up your night up but it might be your blessing in disguise you might be you, you you'll make it home that night yeah. and you might not have if you went the other route. Like, like Inspire the Great said, man. Like, just flow with it. Don't force it. You know what I mean? Let everything flow, man. Because, like, right. like Loki said, man, everything happens for a reason. That's a fact. Fucking. And, yeah, that's that's the best exa- like the best advice somebody's ever given me. Like, to be honest. Nah, like, yo, facts. like, just stop go forcing with the flow. shit. Yeah, don't go with the flow. It. You go with the flow, shit will flow easy. You don't, you don't force shit. But, yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that's back. Like and share and subscribe. And don't forget to thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hit that like Come button. On, man. Hit we that notification subscribe. bell so you're notified every time we drop something. Link in the description for merch. And we appreciate Dope Talk family for coming back, tuning in, and appreciating us and, you know, showing love. Peace. Peace out.